I really didn't know until I, I went for my asylum interview in San Francisco. And that was pretty horrible because what I found out was that only two of us actually survived. Uh, it was me and another woman, she's actually, she has political asylum in Canada. But all the others were found murdered and tortured. And so it was pretty, uh, when they started going to the list and asking me if I knew people, it was pretty horrible. But I guess, um, Knowing that also makes me more committed to what I do, and because I feel like in doing the work I do, I honor their lives and what they dedicated themselves to. Have you ever gone back to Mexico? Uh, no, I can't. Because um, once you apply for asylum, you cannot go back to the country where you got asylum. I'm, I'm never going to be able to do that. What other things were like the same and different about Mexico City and Seattle? Like what? The same and different. Mm -hmm. Also about like, um, how is your experience like coming out in Seattle? Well, did I tell people that Seattle is like, This is one of the most open cities in, in the country and in the world. I mean, they, there are things that can be better, but, but compare, here it's pretty amazing. Um, that's very different. The same, it's very cosmopolitan, very diverse. Um, I live, for example, my, my neighborhood was a Jewish neighborhood which is, I think, the largest Jewish neighborhood outside of Israel. Huge. And um, the nightlife is, I, I think Mexico City is a little bit more like New York. Things are open 24-7. Like, you can go shopping at 1 o'clock in the morning. You can go buy clothes. There, there, there's out something open all the time. Restaurants, bars, discos. It's very, that is very different. Um, I guess the, the, the sense of being in a city, the urban feeling, that is very similar. But it, it, even just because of the sheer size of it, it's, it's very different. 